Hello my beautiful lovelies, welcome back to another MRE tasting. It's Emmy and I'm here to taste yet another meal ready to eat. So this contains one meal for a soldier and also includes a self-heating unit that allows for a hot meal. But I've since learned from a lot of personal accounts in my comments section that these are often eaten cold. So I received this particular MRE from a viewer named Cayman. Cayman, thank you so much for sending this to me. Cayman actually lives in the middle of the US in Wisconsin. He bought a couple of these and thought he'd send me this one. And this actually is not a flavor I've ever had. It's menu number five, chicken tomato feta. And if you like these kind of ration tastings, be sure to subscribe and I'll put the link down below to the playlist of all my other ration tastings. All right, let's get started. Cayman says he hopes this one will open more cooperatively than the other ones I've had, but I've, oh gosh. I always have a hard time unpeeling these. Sliced cranberry, a sundries pack. First strike bar, spoon, cheese bread. Vegetable crackers, electrolyte powder and grape, cornbread stuffing, wow, that's different. Here's the ration heater, beverage bag, and there is the main entree, chicken with tomato and feta cheese. All right, lots of new stuff, great. And dear lovelies, do tell me how I decode this to know the date of manufacture of these. I will want to know. I know I can look it up, but I forgot to do so before I started filming. So do let me know where the secret message is where I can decode when these were manufactured, because that would be great to know. So the first thing I'm gonna do is start by heating up the Andre. There it is. Now we don't want to go all the way down and then we're just gonna add a little bit of water. All right, that's it, just a splash. Shake it a little bit to activate. We'll put on a little incline so it doesn't leak and yeah, let that warm up. Oh, look, there's a cornbread stuffing. I'm gonna put this in the ration heater as well, just so that's nice and warm. I'm gonna quickly slide that in there as well. Kind of snug for two, but it'll still work. So while those are cooking, let's have the cheese and crackers. <laughs> Boy, they look like salting crackers, a little bit tanner in color, and little flecks. I'm not sure if it's my imagination, but it does smell a little vegetal, a little bit like celery. Let's just try it plain and see if I can taste any vegetables. Here we go, itadaki mas. Mmm. It is very dry, a little bit firmer than a saltine cracker, but it does have some flavoring in it. It has a little bit more flavor than just a typical saltine or hardtack cracker. So yeah, it's not bad. It is quite dry and doesn't have much salt on it, but that's where this comes in. And this is the cheese spread. Smoosh it up a little bit and let's try some on a cracker. And that's not really surprising either. Just like those handy snack cheese breads, this is a little bit softer in consistency. It's salty and creamy and has a little bit of tang to it that comes with that kind of processed American cheese flavor. It's certainly not real cheese, but it's good in its own way. All right, let's move on to something else. I find it interesting that they call these cranberry sliced rather than like dried cranberries. These are actually one of my kids' favorite snacks. Mm-hmm. Cranberries by themselves are actually quite tart and tangy. So this has some additional sugar in it, but it still has a nice sour bite to it. So they're sour and sweet and full of cranberry flavor. And in terms of texture, very similar to a raisin, not quite as sticky, but scrumptious. Mm. Let's check out what's in the sundries pack. Toilet paper, matches, moist towelette, iodized salt, non-dairy creamer, sugar, instant coffee, and gum. This looks to be cinnamon. Next, let's make the beverage base powder. This time it's called carbohydrate electrolyte beverage powder, and this is in grape. Before. I've never actually had the beverage powder in a bag quite like this before, but I can just add the water to this. This is great. It smells just like grape Kool-Aid. Anyways, here I have a glass of water, and I'm just gonna add it to that so you can see it. Wow, look how blue it is. <laughs> I've never had a grape drink quite this color before. <laughs> All right, cheers. Wow, mm-hmm. I haven't had 
that in a long time. It tastes just like grape Kool-Aid. It's a little more sour and it does have a little bit thicker viscosity, more like an electric like drink. And I imagine there's probably some salts in there as well, so you can say hydrated. Besides a really scary color, it's not bad for what it is. It just reminds me of being at a birthday party when you're like six years old. <laughs> so let's check on our entree. Take this out. It is quite hot. Whoa, whoa, what a mess. <laughs> oh wow, look at that. And then let's open the stuffing, which is pleasantly warm as well. Whoa, <laughs> that looks interesting. The chicken looks pretty appetizing, but the stuffing does not. <laughs> All right, let's try the bite of the stuffing by itself first. Here we go. Itadakimasu. Hmm, it actually tastes better than it looks. The texture is very similar to polenta. It's a little bit pasty and kind of gummy, but it's pretty well seasoned. I taste some celery salt and some onion and garlic in there. The chicken looks pretty tender. And it's not bad, the chicken is well cooked, it's nice and tender. It does taste a little bit tinned, but this is pre-cooked food after all. And I initially tasted some basil and tomato, and then it's got a really sharp, tangy feta cheese bite. And if you don't like feta cheese, you might not like this, it might be a little bit strong, but I think it's pretty good. All right, let's try a bite with the stuffing as well. Yeah, and I would say that's better because the sauce is quite strong, so when you have it with a stuffing, it kind of takes some of the strength out of it. Let's try it on a cracker. Mm-hmm. And actually goes really well with a cracker as well. Yeah. And for dessert, let's have this. And this is the First Strike Nutritious Energy Bar. I think I had these back in one of my very first Amari meals, but it's been a long while. There it is. It looks a lot like a power bar or an energy bar. It's soft. And... It it looks like a very dense, compressed brownie. It smells like one too. It smells slightly boozy, actually. Hmm. Hmm. And for an energy bar, that's pretty good. It's not overly sweet, which I really enjoy. It has almost a slight bitterness to it too, like a dark chocolate bitterness, which I really like. In terms of texture, it is quite dense. It is an energy bar. It's chewy. And it's got a little bit of cereal rice crunchies in there, which is really great. You get a little breakup of the texture in there, a little bit of crunch. And yeah, in terms of flavor, it does taste a little bit boozy, but I highly doubt that there is any booze in there. <laughs> mm-hmm. Besides the amount of energy it takes to chew it, I really like that. Now I'm gonna finish up with a piece of gum. Mm-hmm. A cleansing palette piece of cinnamon gum. <laughs> All right, so that wraps up this MRE edition, menu number five, chicken tomato feta. Came in, thank you so much for sending this to me. I always love tasting MREs. I think they're so fascinating. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you guys learned something. Don't forget to leave me a comment, subscribe, and like, and I shall see you in my next video. Toodaloo, take care, bye. This is similar. I had never heard of sauce before. But if I read the ingredients, it's pork snouts, vinegar, pork, sweet peppers, pickle relish, and some xanthan gum, natural and artificial flavors, and, you know, colorings and nitrites and stuff. Yay! <laughs> but the pig snouts got me going. I actually love head cheese. This looks like Windex.